Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. My dear friends, I would just want us to go through a practical explanation of how we could make God's word our own. So very simply, let me just take Psalm 23 that you will see in the Revised Standard Version or Psalm 22 in the Author of Study Bible. And this is how the psalmist talks about how the Lord is his shepherd. How do you personalize this word of God, right? You've got to make it your own because remember the blessed Lord in the Gospels would say that as his words abide in us and as we abide in his words, we will by much means bear fruit, fruit that would last. So let us take an example. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me through the right paths as befits his name. Were I to walk in a valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For Lord, you are with me with your rod and your staff to comfort me. You lay a table before my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I shall live. I've only taken one psalm and prayed it with my spirit and my mind and my emotion and my body all involved in prayer. So in the order of magnitude in terms of what is more important for us to pray authentically in the right way. So, so the spirit come first, comes first, then the emotions and then the body. It's necessary for us to pray truthfully and with our whole self, not just with a part of ourself, but with our whole self which is what the salt uh, or the precious gems of God's Holy Spirit, which is the Psalms, teaches us to do. I encourage us all to make God's word as your own. When you make God's word as your own, it comes with much repetition. It comes with much prayerful repetition of the Psalm. So, for example, if you take our Holy Father Benedict, who is one of the ancient Orthodox saints, Saint Benedict, he could recite all the Psalms. How does that happen? It happens with much prayerful repetition of the same Psalm over and over again till the mind absorbs it, till the heart absorbs it, until it becomes our own. I like to learn from the crow. You know, if you see a crow drink water, it first puts its beak into the water, lifts its head and then straightens it towards the sky and then swallows the water. Similarly, you and I should pray a little, think a little, as we begin to read a little. So very simply, we read a little, we think a little, we pray a little. May, reading, may the reading of the Psalter or the book of the Psalms enable us to come close to the Blessed Lord. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.